Hey folks, it's Eric here and I just wanted to make this video to sort of tell you a little bit about the last two and a half months that I've had on this island of Koh Phangan in Thailand. And basically it's been a very transformational time and I'm going to talk about what I did right and what I would do different next time when I come back to this island because I'm definitely going to be back. Definitely going to miss it. Definitely going to be, you know, craving this place when I'm gone. So. Alright, what did I do right this time? Um, mostly around health and fitness. I mean, staying in a place where I stayed at the TP, which um, is Guy, a personal trainer, sort of retreat center that he's building. And um, I was right there training with him. And it was very easy to just like um, be healthy because the gym was right there next to my little house there. And it worked really well because he was there, the gym was there. Other people there were working out and it was an environment that prioritized physical well-being. What I also did right on that front is I ate mostly at home with stuff I made myself, healthy vegetables, salad, you know, chicken for lean protein, um, wonderful sort of wonderful food that I was able to just like very healthily live off of. So have a kitchen if you come here if you're into that. Otherwise you can eat out, but it's not gonna be as healthy unless you go to those really healthy restaurants all the time, but they cost like 200 baht each meal or something like that, so that's what I did right. And the area that I lived in, uh, Sri Tanu or Hing Kong Bay, um, was a good area. Um, really close to everything by motorbike. I was 10 minutes walking to the beach, but I rarely actually did walk to the beach. I mostly just took the motorbike everywhere because it was so easy and so convenient and I wish that I walked more. So this is the start of what I wish I did differently. Now I was supposed to be here for a month and uh, turned into two and a half months, more than two and a half months and that's because of the coronavirus thing. So I was doing like a one month retreat for myself but you know then everything closed down and got extended. So. I wish I walked more, I wish I had a bicycle as well as a motorbike that I had both and I could choose every day what I wanted to exercise myself or what I wanted to take out. And I wish that I had, um, at the beginning when stuff was still open, gone to more events and met more people because it was very hard to meet new people during the coronavirus pandemic when the lockdown started and basically only supermarkets were open. So. That was uh, something that I could have done better. So next time I really want to uh, explore more of the scene of people, you know, the ecstatic dance things and all that sort of stuff that I, I feel I missed out on this time. Um, I also wish that I got a place that uh, had a little more space because the place I got was a one room um, house and there was one room air conditioning. Now, I work online and I don't know about you, but I'm much more, me personally, much more productive when I'm in a place with a nice temperature and where I'm not like sweating and where I'm not like overheated and stuff. So I wish I had a better workspace in the place that I, it was just gonna be for one month, so that was gonna be fine. But then I had a table brought inside and still it wasn't the optimal workspace. So I wish I had a better workspace. I wish I had a bigger place. Basically I had a bed and that's where I was spending most of my time in air conditioned comfort. But then as soon as I would go, you know, to the kitchen for example, that was not air conditioned. To the bathroom, not air conditioned. And so it was in and out all the time, chasing the cold, going outside, you know, coming back and maybe it's too cold after you've been outside and all that stuff. So I wish I had gotten a bigger place, maybe with a couch and a proper workspace and desk and, you know, just more space to be me and do my work. Um, yeah, so basically my whole thing was about, I wish I met more people, socialize more on the island, but the times did not dictate the opportunity to do that. And the other thing was, yeah, get a better space. Get a space where you can work. If you're a remote worker, it's very important to have a space where you have the quiet and you have the, and you have the sort of uh, setup to do your best work, which I def definitely did not have because, well, he was building his um, space there and it was, you know, there was construction noise a lot of the time, which, you know, it was part of the deal of renting the space. Um, so grateful I stayed with Sky and all that stuff. 
but that definitely was a sap on my productivity. So if I had a larger, maybe one bedroom apartment with a couch and everything like that, and and um, air conditioned comfort with a couch and a desk and then the bedroom as well, that would have been good. But basically what I had is just a bedroom. So most of the time I was sitting or lying on the bed while I was working. I could go and sit outside, but it was only really nice to be outside at night because it was too hot in the daytime. So those are things to think about. Next time I might want to bring my band. I might want to bring, you know, people who will help me play gigs here and really bring a crew here because I feel this is a place that could be really neat if I, if I were to, you know, come and really bring my own vibe, the support adventure vibe. I brought that to an extent with Tal who was here. Um, the Rising Nomad vibe that was when Georgina was here and the Eric and the Worldly Savages vibe playing gigs could be really awesome on this island. So yeah, next time when I come back, you know, end of 2020 or the start of 2021, it's going to be a different game. It's going to be something completely um, more me getting out there and bringing my vibe to the island and having more space to do my thing and yeah, but I love this place and I'll be back. So hope you enjoyed this. Catch you guys later.